Hi, my name is Seth, and today I will be showing you how to add gunshot flares with KDEN Live. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to grab the video clip, drag it into the video box below. I like using uh, Video 2 to add the video clips. You can watch the video, make sure it works. It's the right video. Then you're going to want to crop the video so that you just have the video that you want. Do this before you try to add special effects of any kind. So you can get the cut the video by clicking X. Click where you want to cut it. Then you click S on the keyboard. Select the part of the video you don't want and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Alright, so this is the video that I want perfect um, then you're gonna drag in the flare now you're gonna wanna make sure the flare works before you try and put it in position because sometimes it doesn't work and you gotta reimport it so I'm gonna check it make sure it works and it did but I wasn't quite sure if the beginning was there so watch it again there you go now you're going to find where in the video you want to insert it. So you can go frame by frame with the arrow keys. And so I'm looking and right there when he starts to pull the trigger. That's when I want to put it in. So I slide it on. Now you're going to want to add a transition. So right click. All right. Now the transition you want to add is called screen right there click it alright now if you watch the video you'll see the flare but it's not in the right position so what you're gonna wanna do is add a effect this the effect you're gonna wanna add is called it's well it's under crop and transform it's called rotate and shear you can do a lot of things with this you can rotate it and shear it like it says but you can also adjust um, where the flare is up and down so the X axis you know you can change that and the Y axis um, for the Y axis negatives go up so and I mean that confuses me um, you know, put in the comments section below if that confuses you too. I always think of positive numbers going up, negatives going down. So, yep, so you put it right where you want it. And sometimes it'll lag and stuff, but as soon as you render it, all those problems will go away. So, yeah, and then sometimes, you know, the screen will slide over. But like I said, all that will go away when you render it. So, kind of see it. Um, that is where I want it. So now you can add the sound. You can't hear the sound because of the audio setup I have right now. But it is there. You just want to add it right when the gunshot starts. And you're going to want to add it in the audio track. So, the video looks like this. And then, so you finished your video, then you can render it. Um, you can pick different file formats. And if you're not sure what you want to render it to, you can do what I do and just click the thing that says file rendering. Go down to websites and then pick one of the YouTube thing ones. So I picked the 1280 by 720. Then, yeah. So I will show you what the completed video looks like when I come back. Alright, so this is what the completed video looks like after it's been exported. There is sound there. It might not look like it or sound like it, but there is sound there. So mm -hmm, I hope this helped.